Hello everybody, Jarek here from Addictive Tips and in this video we are going to be installing the POP with an exclamation point, POP GTK theme. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some images really quick here. Uh, somehow I got smaller. So this is the official System76 GTK theme. It works on most desktops and you know overall it's a very good theme. Uh, if you'd like to install it we have the description below for building it from source. We also have the ability to install it from a PPA. So I'm using Fedora, so I'm going to need to build it from source. And to do that, I'm going to need to first open up a terminal. So to get it working on Fedora or non-Ubuntu operating systems, you'll need to go through our article as I'm showing off right here and install some, some of this stuff. Uh, Basically, you just need the Inkscape, Opti-PNG, and all of that, those kind of packages. And as you can see, I've already gone through and installed them. And once I've got it installed, I can go back over to the source here. And uh, it gives you ex uh, examples of what to do. But generally, you just want to git clone the code. So let's go ahead and do that. So git clone. And it's going to take quite a bit of time because it's a big, big theme. Just CD into the GTK theme. As you can see, I'm in the Bionic Master. And uh, if we scroll down, we can see Okay, these are the instructions, and I outline this pretty easily in the instructions, so you can just follow my instructions, but in an effort to show how just how easy it is, you would do make, and this will generate the theme files as it says on the Git page, and uh, you can run sudo make install. The reason it says make clean here, in, and I, I go over this in the article, is just it will, if you re-download the source and you need to update it, you'll need to do make clean and it'll clean up the packages and all of that and then regenerate everything. Now that the Steam files have been generated, we can install it to the system with sudo make install. Enter your password and it will go through as, and we can scroll up. We see it has an XFCE theme now. It has a Metacity theme, Plank, GTK3, GTK2, and so forth. And uh, at this point, we can start theming the desktop. Now, as I always say in these theme videos, please check out the description. I have links to all of the GTK desktops that you may be using to learn how to set this up on your own. I'm going to do this in Cinnamon because it's what I use. And uh, it's going to look different than, say, if you're using GNOME or whatever. But to apply the theme, for me, I would click on Themes. Then I would go to my theme area. And uh, we're looking for Pop. So we built Pop. And we can see we applied it instantly is there. And then we've also got, uh, I'm just going to use the regular Pop theme. Now, I'm not sure if there is an included Cinnamon theme. I don't think that System76 really focuses on that. I think it's just about the GTK. I actually don't even think they have a uh, GNOME shell theme. But uh, it's not going to show up here for me just because of the way it works. But luckily, I can just use Mint X Brown. And that kind of goes, it goes similar. It's not entirely great. But also, there is just the regular Cinnamon theme or the the Linux Mint theme or the regular Cinnamon theme, which honestly kind of fits. And uh, that's how you install, build, and get the Pop OS theme working on other Linux desktops. Uh, if you are interested in using this theme, I would highly recommend just installing like uh, XFCE or GNOME as they look a little bit better. It is doable on Cinnamon as I've showed you, but uh, it's not the best looking theme on this desktop. There are definitely better ones. Anyways, guys, I uh, hope you liked this video, and I will see you in the next one.